Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Scarlet Lesson Heels. It's been a while and today I'm really excited to share with you part 3 of my what to buy from Japanese drugstore videos. First up, the item that you need to get is the Shiseido 213 Eyelash Curler. So Shiseido makes two types of eyelash curlers. One, they sell internationally in Sephora and that goes for about 30 US dollars. And the Shiseido 213 eyelash color can only be bought in Japan. It's much more affordable at around 12 US dollars and I don't really find any difference in the functionality. What I understand is that it has a much deeper curvature. The edge-free design prevents pinching and it allows you to get to even the smallest of lashes. It also has a flexible silicone rubber padding which helps you to curl your lashes from the base all the way to the tips. For me, this is something that's really useful because I don't usually wear eye makeup. As you can tell, I wear it maybe once a year or once in two years, but I always have it handy in case I need to dress up for formal occasions. The second product that you must get would be Shiseido sponges. And again, this product is very unique to Japan. You can only buy these from Japanese drugstores. And Shiseido comes with hundreds of different types of sponges. They all have a unique number to it and they sell them individually packaged. So what I like to pick up is the Shiseido Soft Touch Powder Puff in 124. Um, they sell it individually and it only costs a couple of dollars. And why I like to pick that up is because I like to keep a couple of spares at home. I use the Chanel Loose Powder almost every single day. And even though I wash this sometimes, it does get a little bit grimy. So I keep a couple of spares so that I can use that as a replacement instead of purchasing the Chanel sponge pads. If you're not particular, you can just have a browse and pick up whatever sponges is relevant for you based on the makeup and application techniques that you use. If you're wondering about the jewelry that I'm wearing, this is from Gingerberry and they specialize in is in 18k gold, sterling silver and pearls. And I picked up these two pieces because I really like how elegant and versatile these pieces are. Let me first talk about the necklace and then the earrings. So the necklace is perfect because the chain is so thin. So from the distance, it looks like the pearls are floating on your neck. Um, and I really like that it's fully adjustable in length. So you can hook it at any point to adjust it shorter so that it looks like a choker or you can even lengthen it even longer than the length that I'm wearing it right now. So the second feature that I like about this is that the chain is gold and the pearl is silver. Which makes it very easy to layer on top of any existing jewelry that you have, whether it's gold, rose gold, or silver. So this is a super elegant piece, and I've already been wearing this a lot, layering it on top of my existing necklaces. The second piece is the earrings, and this pair of earrings is so unique. What I like about it is that, again, the pearls look like they're floating beneath your ears. You can wear it two ways. You can attach the back piece to these pearls, and they've also given another backing, so if you don't want to wear this combination together, you can just wear it on its own as a small pearl earring stud. When I saw this, it really reminds me of a pair of earrings that my parents gifted to me during my wedding. It's a very similar concept. The stud is a diamond stud and you can attach a pearl behind it to change up the way the earring looks. Go check these two pieces out. I have an exclusive discount code for all my viewers and it's GIH15 and it gives you 15% off everything on the website. I'll put the link to these two products down in the description box. Don't forget to apply the coupon code to get 15% off these pieces. The third item that is a must get is this Sana Newborn Japan W Eyeliner EX. And why I love it is because it has two tips. So on one side, it's like a crayon. And on the other side, it's a very, very fine brush. It feels like a felt tip pen. This is made in Japan. The formula is very creamy. It's really easy to apply. It comes in five different colors. So the one that I have is 01 in dark brown. It comes in colors like terracotta brown, ash gray, and chai gray. So I'll put all the different colors on screen. Um, but I always like dark brown because I feel like black is a little bit too harsh and dark brown gives a much softer look. Why it's also so popular is because it contains hyaluronic acid and chamomile flower extract. So it gives your eyes an extra boost of hydration and nourishment. It applies very smoothly on the delicate areas of your skin. The next item that you need to buy would be these Rohi Suboko patches. Somehow this has become really popular in recent years and I see tourists snapping this up in the drugstores. Um, this is made by a company called Nichiban. They really pride themselves in making very comfortable plasters for you to stick on areas that you feel are achy or in pain. And I like to pick up this version where it comes in um, plastic sheets like this. So you can see that 
it's very small and it's almost skin colored so if you paste it on your skin it's not that obvious and for such a small patch you actually can really feel the he heating sensation and for me because i use the computer very often on a daily basis i always have stiff shoulders i find that it's very effective in relieving any sort of pain that i have the plasters are made of rayon cloth, so it's very durable and it's water resistant. And even though it's such a small piece of plaster, it doesn't fall off easily. So it adheres to your skin really well. Highly recommend this, especially if you're feeling achy after a long day of walking, or you just have some stiffness and you want to relieve the pain. The fifth item that you need to pick up is the Jose Clear Turn Eye Mask. I know I've recommended a lot of eye masks on my channel. I find it very handy to have a couple of them in my refrigerator. This comes in a very compact packet like this, it's made in Japan. And what I like about this is that it's such a small packet but there's so much product inside. The material of this eye mask is also a little bit different, it's not gel-like. It's made of a very thin sort of paper-like material. And because it's so lightweight and easy to use, I put it all over my face, so not just under my eyes, but I put it on my laugh lines and my temples. Um, it's really good for traveling because it's so compact and I find that it sticks to my skin really well so I can use it even when I'm walking out and about it doesn't slide down your face compared to the gel versions the sixth item that you need to pick up is the Lululun cleansing balm Lululun has been really popular in recent years and they are known for their sheet mask and their toner pads what I picked up was the black cleansing balm so the cleansing balm comes in two versions they have the white version and the black version the white version is for people with dry skin and the black version is for people who have more oily skin. I decided to pick the black version up because even though I have um, dry skin, there are days where my skin goes into a combination mode. It's really important to double cleanse. It's usually the first step on days when I'm not wearing makeup, but I still want to use a cleansing balm to remove some block on my face. So if you're looking for a cleansing balm, you, you might want to try out Lululun's version. These products are again made in Japan, which is something I'm really particular about. And the next item that you need to pick up would be the steam eye mask. How it works is that it comes in individually packaged wrappers like this. And once you open it, it starts radiating heat. So the temperature goes up to about 39 to 40 degrees. So it's really quite warm. And what I do is after putting on my sheet mask at night before I sleep, I would use this on my eyes just to feel more relaxed. This is also really good for long flights, something handy to have. It helps to relieve and relax strained eyes, um, especially if you're staring at the screen for long hours, and it also eases any tension that you might have around the area. You can choose the unscented version, and there's also lavender, yuzu, chamomile, and rose. So pick whatever scent you like best. And the next item is the Hatomugi Skin Conditioner. I'm not going to elaborate on this product because you would have probably seen it a lot um, online. This costs about 750 yen, so it's about 5 US dollars. It's really affordable because you get such a huge bottle. I would say that if you have very dry skin and if you're looking for a moisturizer or toner that solves that, relying on this itself is not enough. So this is very, very lightweight. I feel that it works well if you use the layering method and layer on different layers to get the hydration into your skin. Because it's so lightweight, what I use it for is I use it on days where I'm going to the gym to work out and you know I don't want very rich creamy moisturizer on my face right? but I still want a layer of hydration on so that's what I use this for. The second thing that I use this for is if I'm going out to the house and I just want to do a quick mask on my face but I don't want to use the entire sheet mask, what I do is I use this lotion on cotton pads and I'll just leave it on my face for a couple of minutes before I do my makeup routine. This, so this is really affordable because it's only 5 US dollars and you get a big bottle, you might want to try this out. But again, just want to emphasize that if you have very dry skin, um, you cannot just rely on this. You probably need something a lot stronger. And the next item that you need to check out is a Can Make Sluice Powder product. I need to be honest to say that this is not my holy grail. The product that I always use is the Chanel Loose Powder. I've been using this for more than 10 years and this is my go-to. However, I think this works really well if you're just starting out and you don't really want to splurge a lot on makeup, then this is an affordable version. If I compare the ingredients and how the powder feels, Chanel's Loose Powder is a lot finer and it applies on the face a 
lot more seamlessly but can make version the powder is coarser but it still does the job so if you're looking for a loose powder that you want to use as something to set your makeup then try out this version the one that i have is in 01 but you have three colors available it conceals dullness and uneven skin and it gives you that brightening effect and the very last item is Pokari Sweat. This is something that I always pick up from the drugstore or from the convenience store when I'm in Japan, especially in the summer when the weather is really hot. This is a drink from Japan which has a composition of water and ions, including sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and chlorine. Its composition is very similar to a body fluid, so it helps to rehydrate you. What I like about it is that it has no preservatives, no artificial coloring, and no caffeine. So I remember there was once when we were in Japan in summer, and the weather was really 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 hot and I was having a really bad headache my husband suggested that we go get some Pukari sweat and I remember after drinking a whole big bottle of that I instantly felt better you can drink this anytime especially when your body needs hydration it's good after a long day out when you've walked a lot or after intense exercise a tip for you is that this drink is also really good if you are suffering from diarrhea or if you're having a cold or fever the ions in this drink helps to replenish the fluids in your body that brings me to the end of the video thank you all for watching i hope that you found this helpful and let me know if you decide to purchase any of these items thank you all and see you guys in my next one take care and goodbye